Hey you guys, Foley back again with another tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a little 3D looking text for uh, your backgrounds or whatever you want to use it on. And also I'm going to show you how to do the avatars or the little display pictures or whatever you want to call them for YouTube. Alright, I'm going to start with the, th the text. I'm just going to make a little document right now just to show you. Alright, basically all you're going to do is take the text tool and you're going to get your text and do write whatever you want. Ah. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go over here to your layers and you're going to either want to right click it and go to blending options or you can just double click it either way it still works the same alright first what I like to do is I like to put a little drop shadow on it and usually I'll just use the, dis the defaults for that but you can kind of mess around with it a little bit whatever you want you know just kind of drag it in a little bit alright and the 3D part is basically it's the bevel and emboss basically when you get the defaults, it kind of looks like crap. So what I like to do is I usually keep the depth around the same or maybe a little bit higher. But I take the size up to about 15. And then I soften it all the way. So that way it gives it a really nice kind of smooth look to it if you want to call it that. And uh, basically that's actually it for the 3D text. I mean there's not much you should uh, else to do it, that's all I usually do to make anything that I usually do. I mean, you could put a little sap on it if you want. Make it a little bit darker, but, uh, I usually just do that. Just, you know, just, uh, size 15 and then just soften it. 16, you can kind of move it around if you want to, like, make it at a different angle or whatever you want to do. You can move it around. Also, um, Another thing to do, what will look a lot better uh, for some is you're going to want to take a gradient, you're going to put a gradient map on it. And uh, I usually go from whatever color I use for the text into white or black or whichever. White usually looks better though. You know, now it kind of looks kind of weird. So you're going to take the opacity down to probably about 20 or 30 or so. And it'll give it just a little bit of a better look. I mean, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Alright, now for the display pictures on YouTube, they, they display at a size of 88 by 88 pixels. So all you want to do is open a document like that. Usually, I make the background black. And I'll just put a big letter. I'll just put an M. And I'll do my little 3D text like I usually do. And one thing I like to do is I'll just take one of the basic brushes that are a real soft brush like that and kind of just make it a little bit bigger than the letter, a little bit around that. And just hit it like once or now nah, it actually looks perfect like that, whatever. And uh, you can kind of move the M around, whatever you want. You can put it in the middle or wherever. And then I'll do a little brush on it, let me see. I'll do a little splatter brush or something. Again, just Google Photoshop brushes. That's, that's all I do, ever. I don't have a certain site I always go to or anything, really. I'll just do this. I always do this. Put it at 450. I'll do... I'll put it gray. Let's do that. It's a nice solid gray right there. 
that's, you know, that's just a little quick thing I'm doing. I'm not trying to do anything perfect here. But, uh, all I'm going to do right now is just put these all together by selecting them on hand, Control E. And then, for that little 3D look you guys do, uh, one way to do it is to do, take a little circle and use white. You're going to go, to find the circle tool, usually it's going to be under either the rectangle tool. You just right click it and that little that little thing will pop out and you're just going to want to go to the ellipse tool. And you can just hold shift or whatever you want to do and just kind of make it a certain size, whatever you want. And then you're just going to want to drag it down to probably like 30 or 20 again. The same, I mean, I'll put it at, I'll just put it at 22, whatever. I mean, there's nothing specific. Whatever you think looks best. And that'll give it that kind of 3D look, if you know what I'm saying. Do it like that. Or another way to do it, actually, is to take the layer, the bottom layer, and do the same thing for your text. To go to Bevel and Emboss, and uh, make it 16 soften all the way. And you might want to do 15. Or nah, just keep it at 5 or whatever. That's two ways you can do it right there. And then, uh, let me just go back. I'll show you this. And then I'll just save this. All you want to do is go to File, Save As, and since it's so small, it's not going to over, it's not going to be too big of a file, so you can just save it as a JPEG. And then just, whatever. And then that's it. And then to upload it, you're going to want to go to your account. You want to go to your little name, your account. And you just want to hit Change right here. And then you browse and you go find that picture. And, uh, when, yeah, you just look for that or whatever. And then once you find it, just hit, uh, save changes or whatever. And it'll, uh, it'll show up as your little picture. Alright, I hope you guys, uh, help you guys out. Just, uh, let me know what else I need to do. Alright, thanks. See you.